Hey, it's Rylan at the Vic Shop. Um, you know, I get a lot of emails and phone calls on this subject, and after a bunch of that, I usually decide to make a video to kind of cover all my answers. That way I can just uh, send you a link to this video. So uh, today I wanted to talk about drive belts and drive belt tension and alignment and squeaking issues that you can get. Uh, so I got this cross country up on the dyno here, and I can kind of show you a few things concerning the drive belt system. So even though we're looking at a cross country today, this video could apply to all years of victory. Uh, all years of victory have um, you know, belt drive on the right side. And, um, and they all can have tension and alignment issues, of course. And I uh, just use them cross country because it's the most common. And so the first thing I guess I'll cover is uh, belt squeaking, which is pretty common on these newer bikes. And I would say that maybe 75% of the time it's just that the belt's dirty and the belt and pulleys and everything are all dirty and it's actually in the owner's manual that oh every oil change the belt should be cleaned and so a lot of times if we've got a, a bike with a squeaky belt we'll go bring it to the wash bay and we'll clean it all out you know take the side uh, bag off and squirt it all down with water take um, the wash mitt to all the whole length of the belt and all the pulleys and real clean them up real nice and let it dry off I haven't done that to this one yet because uh, it's not having any problems but it, typically if we'd have one that's step number one and then the rest of the time so the other 24 percent of the time uh, when we got a squeaky belt drive issue it's tension and alignment and we'll cover tension and alignment in a second and then that last one percent of the time is like maybe you have a fault somewhere like one of the pulleys is bad or the belt's bad but that's extremely rare it's usually just dirty or it's dirty and it needs tension and aligned correctly so let me go into tension and alignment next. Okay, the thing with tension is that <laughs> there's a tool and everything and there's a spec, but I just do it by hand and by feel really. I just I guess I've been doing it so long, I just use common sense. When the engine heats up, it's gonna heat up that front pulley and the pulley is gonna expand quite a bit and it's gonna tighten up the belt. And so I like to set the belt when the bike is straight up and down and it's stone cold, like overnight cold. And then I just kinda take a feel and it should just have a little bit of deflection. Uh, let me take the camera off the mount here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I know that when it's stone cold, it should have a little little slop in it, but that it's going to tighten up drastically when the, it's heated up and the uh, and there's weight put on it. So that to me is right on the money, maybe even a little on the loose side, because when that gets hot, that'll be real super tight. And so you want it, you know, to be tight when it's hot, but to not be tight when it's cold, <laughs> if that makes sense. So uh, that's that's tension, easy enough, just common sense, really. Okay, so the thing about alignment is that the belt is going to travel on the pulley just naturally. And it's not always going to ride to the outside, and it's not always going to ride to the inside. And being riding on one side or the other doesn't indicate really too much, per se. Um, but if you look at the book, it explains that when you're aligning the rear axle, that it should kind of flop between. Uh, which is a really good advice, oddly enough. And so when I'm tension or when I'm aligning a rear wheel, I know that pulling the axle out like rearward this way is going to cock the wheel and tire this way, which is going to force the belt to ride on the inside. Of course, this is way drastic for video purposes. And then if I go the other way, where I'm tightening this side, the belt's going to start to move to this side of the of the pulley and so the key is to get it so it's straight and tensioned properly which can take some back and forth and that's why I put the bike on the dyno so in a perfect world the uh, the belt when you're moving forward would just kind of hover back and forth between left and right and it might you know just um, naturally and then if you back up it could go one way or go forward go another so don't get lost because all the trees um, and just know that it's natural for it to move side to side. The important thing is that it's not really riding hard on one side or the other because that'll cause a squeak and then you could have like high speed 
wobbles from an axle that's not quite straight on. And so when I'm tensioning and aligning, uh, it's kind of one step to tension and alignment. You're trying to straighten that axle out while maintaining a good belt tension and it can be difficult and that's why the dyno is so nice and I understand that you guys aren't going to have a dyno at home and I'd say the best way is with a buddy and set your uh, your buddy on the bike and just have him wheel down a long parking lot or street and to simulate just going forward with no weight on the bike and being held straight up and then you can loosen the axle and kind of work the adjusters back and forth to get it to ride in the middle and still have the proper tension. So as you can see on my example bike, the belt is riding to the inside there. So what I'm gonna do is try to pull the left side of the axle rearward and maybe loosen this right hand adjuster so the axle goes forward on the right side to kind of force that belt more towards the right. I don't start the engine because I don't want the pulleys to get hot. So I'm loosening the axle and then I'm going to loosen this adjuster and tighten the other side to try to move the axle and move the belt. So make an adjustment, tighten the axle nut again, and re-spin to see how it affected it. Ooh, that is getting close. Okay, I'm liking that. As you can see, belt's kind of centered and it may ride from one side to the other as the wheels turn, but it's for the most part in the center and uh, that's the way we want it.